Vince Delmani. We're doing day two of the 10 by 10 German volume training workout. And if you've uh, done the first one, you know you're probably pretty darn sore watching this video right now. So day two, it's not gonna get much better. And we're uh, doing back and we're gonna be doing some abs today. Um, sorry, we're gonna be doing legs and abs today. So we're gonna start off with a back squat, superset with a lion leg curl. Then we're gonna do um, some uh, calf raises, superset them with some uh, ab exercises. So again, this is the famous 10 by 10 workout uh, that was popularized by uh, Charles Paulquin a few years ago. And uh, I'm gonna show you the workout right out of the book. I didn't invent any of this. This is just some good old fashioned classic muscle building. and. Um, Let's get to it. Uh, just a reminder to start off with a weight that you can typically do around 20 reps. The first couple sets is gonna feel fairly easy. By the time you get to the fifth or sixth set, you're gonna start feeling the benefit of how the benefit's gonna kick in on this workout. And, um, and that's, a bit, that's about it. Um, beginners, you probably don't wanna try this workout. This is really gonna make you strong by doing the same movement over and over. You're really neurologically gonna force the muscle to grow because of the amount of volume you're putting on it. And I um, think that's it. So we're gonna go over here, because my flexibility isn't the best, I'm gonna improvise back squats for front squats. So we're going to line ball, uh, ball curls. We're doing um, 90 second, 60 second recovery, four second negative, two seconds up. That's just how it is out of the book. And then um, we're gonna finish off by uh, doing some ab exercises and calf exercises. So here we go. We don't have a line leg curl machine here, so we're going to improvise and use line ball curls. Heels on the ball, hands out, abs up. Try and get your heels, toes right to your butt. If you have more flexibility than me, pull it in all the way. In. back on the ball. All right. And that's uh, the first set. We've got a ways to go. Start your watch. 60 seconds. Keep the workout honest. And uh, this workout, 10 by 10, I mean, in theory, the goals, I mean, if you're actually able to do 10 by 10, the weights aren't heavy enough. So, you will start failing around the fifth or sixth set, and your reps will drop down to nine, eight, seven, which is cool. That's where the benefit happens when you start being able to get closer to the 10 by 10 with the same weights you used on week one. All right, let's finish up the workout with some hanging leg raises for the abs and some uh, calf raises. So we're gonna do about only three sets. This is just to balance off the program, hit the muscle groups we haven't really hit throughout the week. And we go about 10 to 15 reps. This is actually gonna be my goal. I'm gonna try and touch that thing there. Drop your heels as low as it goes. 
hold some weight if that's too easy. Try to stay straight too. Leaning in makes it easy. Stay tall. serious damage on your muscles. So make sure you go home, follow our, follow our advice on how to eat, how to sleep, how to recover, how to live, because the benefit happens now when you leave the gym. In the gym, we're beating up the muscle. That muscle's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. When we leave the gym, that muscle's gonna start to grow, assuming you let it rest recover. So we'll see you on day three.